Hello everybody, how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. And at The Flower Patch, I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements from wreaths, swags, things for the home decor, things for your garden decor, for sympathy tributes, weddings, and much, much more. Right guys, um, before we start, um, I've had another negative uh, message. I have now removed the message. Um, as I've stated before, anybody who is criticising uh, my work or anything like that, <clears throat> I won't stand for it. Um, I'm not in a. I'm not upset by it. Um, I just think it's silly, really. So at the end of the day. The person stated that I shouldn't have my cat on my workbench as it is unhygienic and um, some of my customers may have allergies, um, cat allergies. And also um, they wouldn't want to purchase anything from me knowing that there may be, oh, my cat chewing on some of my foliage. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Um, my cat isn't allowed in when I do specific things for customers. And second of all, every time I make something for a customer, it always gets sprayed with a hygienic spray before it is boxed up and delivered. And plus another thing, I have studied health and safety within the workplace and I have got a certificate up there with it um, and I, I studied it, studied it deeply. So I know what I'm doing. I do take into consideration the customers um, because the customers are very, very important to me. And I care about allergies and everything. I always ask my customers if they have any allergies against anything that I am using or any pet allergies. But that's the sort of thing that you uh, or the person who commented doesn't see when I am dealing with a customer. So before you go and start criticising that I personally, um, you know, you wouldn't want anything from me. All the things that I do on virtually on my videos are requests. The ones that are not requests and are a customer, which is very few, my cat isn't here. So I do take that very, very deeply within myself and the customer as well, because the customer is a valued person, a valued person. So that's, I just wanted to get that straight. I'm not going to, uh, you know, comment on other, any other negativity, um, you know, remark what somebody puts, I would just remove them from my channel immediately without a second thought. So, I am a jolly person. I don't uh, entertain negativity. I'm very positive. So now I've got that out of the way, let's crack on. I, today, I'm doing something for myself or maybe um, I want to put it wherever, wherever I wish and I haven't got any allergies so against cats so if my cat comes in which I'm not going to stop him coming in at all for nobody then unless somebody has an allergy and I'm doing a customer's um, order. So if my cat comes in, my cat's free to come in whenever he wishes. So I'm doing today, guys, a wreath, but I want to do it in just red. I don't want to add a lot of, it's more, more foliage than anything else. So I, um, I'm going to do it just on a spruce wreath. And I am going to be using two different tones of Christmas ornaments, a burgundy 
and also a red and they are going to go on this spruce reef which may look quite chunky but I have added a garland on it and around it it is only a 16 inch wreath when it is fluffed up it's a 14 inch wreath when it's flat so I have placed on a garland around it and attached it with cable ties as you can see around the back to hold it on the wire frame to hold it in place to make it look a bit more chunky and we are going to place these Christmas ornaments or baubles as we call them in the UK down one side and then the foliage and the berries down here I have got some poinsettias I'm considering placing them up here and a bow at the bottom so that is my first uh, exp <laughs> explanation and for our bow I'm only using two ribbons I've got a sparkly red one and then a red and a green frill around the edging and that is basically the green is because we it's just greens and reds so and I wanted a little bit of sparkle now I want to show you these I have purchased these but they are preserved foliage um, fern now preserved basically means that they are dead the uh, foliage is dead they've obviously sprayed it um, and preserved foliage can last anything around up to five years so they're very floppy obviously because they're real or they was when they was alive um, there's no stems they're not artificial um, and they are the ferns here where you can see I have they must have sprayed them because they are a lovely green like an evergreen um, or a forest green and we are even though they're floppy I want those maybe to incorporate a few in and around just for that wispy floppy movement so you can get these anywhere guys online anywhere just go on your google or something and type in uh, preserved foliage and they will come out they're just basically dead and flattened so that's all they are but I, I don't usually use them but on this occasion I thought why not let's see what effect we get from them so you can always also get them from your local florist um, as well uh, you can order them online and get them all from a uh, wholesalers also so that is one of our first greenery I have got out my conifer I got out two packs and these last few oddments that I've chopped off the main stem the, I, there was one what I'd used so I decided to take the other four off and cut those off and then also get some two more bags out I'm also considering using the cypress leaves as well which I will if I use you know decide to use place a bit of movement in it just so it looks more realistic and then just stroke my hand down it so it opens them up a little bit some go back some go forward so it looks more realistic so we've got those also now I have got some green parvovolia, parvovolia or par, I can't, I, ne I can never pronounce this. Is it parv, parvovolia or parvovolia? But anyway, I've got to see white, but I've decided I want to use the green and it is slightly dusty with, I don't know, it's with white on, you can see it on my fingers. Um, so, but it's, it's lovely. I love the movement of this. Now I can't make my mind up if I want to add any of these. I've got my lamb's ear, my proper lamb's ear. I thought that was lamb's ear until I realised it was sage. 
um, but I've got my lamb's ear or my sage. I may not place these in any of these, but I just thought that I'll get them out as, you know, instead, so they are here. Now I have got where I've chopped these down in advance so I don't have to keep chopping away. Um, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on keep chopping because I'm sure you may get bored of seeing me just chopping away. Well, I've cut some down, placed some on picks individually as well and uh, I've got my favourite foliage which is, which is the silver dollar eucalyptus and I thought with the grey blue colour or grey green that would look lovely in it also. Now I have got these, I've had to put these in a bag guys because they are, I've got a bit of snow on. If I don't use the plain ones then I may use these with the snow on just to give some of the Christmas snowy effect on them as well. So they come individually on stems like that. They don't come as a bunch and they're very messy. <laughs> so the snow is, well, there's lots in there. So I've kept them in a bag. I've also got out some of my red berries. I want to place in, again, like I say, red berries. There's the odd few what are slightly different, but they are mainly these. There's the little ones like this and a, a some with a cluster and a little bit of um, pods at the top what I've not like opened, so to speak. And for my other foliage, what I want to add in, I love these. I've always liked these. They are my favourite pine needles. Those. Aren't they beautiful guys? I like them where they're longer. I stated on one of the videos that I've ordered some and they've come. These are them. And I was worried in case they'd only be about two inches, but they are actually six inch from the tip to here, to the bottom of the pine needles. So I think it's called my, so you can, some of the, uh, there's some that have different names and I think this one may have been called mountain pine. So I want to add some of those in for a different texture. So I've got a bag full, as you can see here. And then I've only got five red poinsettias out. I've got Two with a bit of holly, glittered holly in, like so. Yeah, five. Two with a bit of glittered holly in. One, I've got a bag full of different ones. I didn't want to get all the same. One, what is just glitter and it is also, you can see through it. Then one, what is glittered, holly and also the same, these leaves as well as the other one, and then one velvet one, or plain with a bit of glitter around the tips. So I thought we'll have a mixture of them. So that is what we've got today. And I'm going to keep the camera down because I want you to have a close up today. Um, these may snap, so I've got to be extremely careful with these. So we're going to do our bow first. So I'm going to, oh gosh, I always seem to wear a white jumper or something when I've got using glitter. Never mind. So we're going to do our bow. So I'm going to bring the camera so you can see closer. I've brought it, the stand to the camera much closer. Um, I've moved things out of the way so I can get it in. Um, so you can see better on my mat and I want to try it out. Hence the reason I'm sitting down today, just to see if we can do it. So let's get that there. You I, you won't see me guys, but I, I want you to see 
what I'm doing close up. Let me just try with the reef there. Oh gosh, that is big. There, isn't it? If I do it like so. Sorry if any of it goes out of shot, guys. I just want to see if you can get the majority of it in when I'm working. So let's just place that there. So we're going to use the sparkly ribbon at the back. I want to try and use this, ro this roll up. So you fold it in half. And then cut from the folded piece diagonally down to the outer side to get your dovetail effect. So then I'm going to place it in. I usually do them around six inch, the first tail end or streamer. And I twist like so. I like to try and make sure that it's all in place. So let's see, what shall we do? I'll go to five and a half today with the one at the back. It's very stiff this ribbon. And I'm going to do two loops on either side. Try not to get it in the way so you can see. Just measure now with when you do your second one on top of that first one you've just done. And then twist. So then I've done my four and I'm going to do a bit of a, well, sort of a longish tail end and then I'm going to dovetail this one as well. Again, fold it in half. So then you have that. So now I'm going to move the loops into position. I find it is, it's, you know, better um, and then it's already prepared so when you place on your um, cable tie or your wire or your Chanel stick that it's already in place and all you have to do is just basically slightly manipulate it. Just make sure that there's they're all okay. So that's that one. And so then I'm going to use this with the green little loops and do the same with the tail end. And I'm just going to eyeball it just to measure it with this one. It's you can just measure it on your mat and I'm going to do five inch with these. Just measure it on where the five is on my bow maker. And one more. Of this. I'm going to bring it down. Very similar length. Just slightly smaller, not too much. 
and then dovetail this one as well. And then because I've got that, I'll place now one in between the two sparkly ones. I've one in between these two sparkly ones. And then we'll bring this one down in between these two sparkly ones. And then have that there. So you have that effect. Then I want to get... Let me just dovetail that. Oh, it's stuck to my jumper. So then I'm going to bring this one down. I'm going to place the tail end down here. Twist. this one at four inch and then I'm going to bring this one down as well dovetail this one also and then because I there's three of those I want at least another one of these I'm just measuring it so I'm going to cut there and I'm just going to place it let's have it this side in like so And then I'll get my cable tie. We are going to cut this bit shorter. In fact, let me just place that in fact under there. Just like so. Then we'll get our cable tie. I'm using a green one. You can use whatever colour. I'm just using it, I think, just to blend in. And then just go through the, the centre. Bring it round the back get another cable tie place it through in the centre of the this cable tie I'm not pulling it to its tightest yet guys I just want to fluff and manipulate my Lens, so they're in position so we see the loops more than anything so let me just pull that a little bit so I do down here you can hold the cable tie and I'm just bringing it down underneath to pull tight I'm 
and I'll snip that off. So now the little piece in the centre, you can either put a little dovetail on that if you wish. I don't want it, so I'm just going to cut it off and then place this in the centre to cover my mechanics. So then now we have our bow. And just to round off your loops a little bit, just press them like that, makes them a bit more fluffy. So that is our bow all ready to be attached to our wreath. Nice and sparkly. So we'll place that there. We'll grab our wreath. Let's get these out of our way. So we'll just move these as well. So I'm taking into consideration the spacing for our bow and I want our bow to be hanging just around here. So I'm going to leave that, that space there where my hand is for the bow to attach to. You can put the bow on, I usually put the bow on first, I may have a change of heart and decide let's get it on. So what I want to do is just add in, because I want these around going all around, well I'll say around, we're going down one side all the way there, because all of these are going to just sit randomly in and underneath here. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just get in our conifer. So I'm just placing them in and we're going to make make it so it's it's not as small as this. We're going to make it so it's you know slightly bigger. Let me pull my sleeve up. And if you feel that you something's just not sitting right or a bit loose grab one of your pine leaves your spruces and just wrap it around the stem just to give it that extra little bit of a hold And I'm just sticking them to the, the pine needles 
or the spruce, should I say. I think we'll have one here. As well. I've got three left that I want to bring on the inner side so let's just cut the stem a little bit shorter and also your spruce can also hold it in position so it doesn't go somewhere else And then one around here. Just bring that down. So that is how we've got it placed. That's the top, that's the bottom. And again, I'm taking in to consideration, or should I say that's the bottom? our bow so I could bring an extra one up here on the inside I may place on the bow let's just cut that one a little bit shorter So we'll place that one like so. So this is the top. These are going to go all the way around from here to here. So I'll keep those out. Now, again, I've used these many, well, not many times, but I've used these on the odd occasion. Not these ones, but they are extremely, let me just break it off, extremely breakable. So we're going to put the glue and I'm going to attach these like that. I don't know, really need to cut them. <laughs> I can just snap them off. But maybe in May. I can't help myself. Let's just snap. It. The stems on them are extremely thin so I'm just going right at the bottom see I think I've just bent yeah I've just bent one this is how good, how quick they will bend. I'll save that. Because again, they are real. Last one in there. 
because as you can see when you lift them they do flop over so I may get a spruce and just wrap the spruce around you know quite carefully just to hold it in place if it just doesn't look right I will just pull them out slowly Let me just and I'm again I'm just wrapping the spruce around it with the spruce having wiring hopefully it'll keep it held upright I know the tips of them will flop over I don't need to do the bottom ones because they'll be hanging down. Let's just have a look. It's that top one. I think the top one may be a little bit too long because of it. So let's just cut, cut it out. I don't want to take some of the leaves off. Right, I'm not going to use, I don't think, any more. I may save those and just pop those in. Again, they are very delicate. Let's just place those there. <clears throat> Right, let's get our bow on so then I can work with our bow. So I don't want the bow to be sunken in so I am going to attach the cable tie around one of these spruces here. So it will sit like along those lines. Just get it threaded. You can just again wrap it around the spruce. You don't have to place a tie wrap, a cable tie on. Sorry, I keep saying tie wrap because that's what we call them over here. We do say cable ties, but it's usually tie wrap more than anything. So our bow is on. So let's get, do I use those or do I use the white ones? I think the white. So we'll keep those out as well. Put those there. And again, you can play. You can anything that you're placing in here, you know, in your spruce wreath, you can attach around the spruce itself to give it more of a support. I 
I've already got these all moved in a direction that uh, just gave it a bit of movement. Again, I tried to prepare before I started. Oops. Oh, they are sticking together. Let me cut them all down. I've only got five out for now. And these stems are also quite thin. Ow, I've just got it on me. Bring one. Under there. I'm going to bring one just at the bottom of the bow here. See, I'm trying to keep, bear in mind the spacing. Do I need any, like the other one on the top? Place the odd ones at the top. One, two, three. So where you've got this one and this one, I'm going to place this just slightly in like so I'm just rubbing my hand down them above my where my rubbish is in my bin just so all the snow goes in there just to open them up slightly we've got one there so we'll place one here and then I want to place one one around here that so I don't want no more of those it's like polystyrene it gets everywhere right let's see about our eucalyptus I don't think there was so they finish with oh first of all let's get in Oh, poinsettias because I know where I want these I want I've got different ones so I could place three I want um, some together and then I was thinking I may have one then either side 
down here or I could bring another one here because again but then I've got to take into consideration all the berries because it's again it's just going to be red or I could easily leave two out and just have the cluster there I think I may do that and then have a load of berries all here so let's do that oops I've dropped one so I'm going to place I hope you can see because of the bow guys I'm just sitting them on the top bring that one in like that so I've just basically got a cluster of them if I bring it like forward of them at the top <clears throat> so we have that so I don't want those two so now we've got at least our bow our main focal point is our bow and our poinsettias Let's just get one of these out. I cut some small, some big. Yeah, we're going to put a few of these in as well. And I'm going to place these just in, give them a bit of movement around the outer side. unravel them all just take that prong off Again, under the bow, so I want just one slightly longer. If I just place one there. Let's see if I could do the, I'll bring the old, I'll cut some down and bring some just in a little and bring some just around there where I've got it in the center I want to put one here. Let me cut that a little bit shorter. I don't want it sticking out too long. A 
And then I've got one. I'm going to place just under here. Where it's just what one leaf you may just see popping out. So that is that. So I'm not going to use any more of those. Do I put in? Oh my god. Yeah. Before I do that, let's get some of these in. I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I'll just get a few out to start with. So I'm going to bring one, as you can see at the top, hopefully if I bring it forward, just here. And I'm bringing these on the outer side and I will put the odd one on the inner side. I'm just like going one slightly higher and one slightly lower, not too much lower. And then one a little bit higher up. And bring one just. Oops, got a bit of glue on it. Bring one near the bow so you can see it. And then one under the bow. Just around there so you can see it just popping out with the eucalyptus let's see do i i could easily bring if i just perhaps have about two in the center And they are wired as well, so you can make them, you know, fluff them up to bend upright. So that gives it, that makes it look a bit more fluffy and full. So I'll put those in that bag for now. So do I still use... Yeah, or do I use the sage? Because I think the sage, sage having movement, and I could place those under the ferns to help them sit slightly up. And then I may just put the odd one or two of these in here. So let me just put one or two of these uh, lambs here in the center. around here just so you've got the bit around there and bring one a bit of light color for the bow to bounce off there so we've done that as well so now with the sage, I'm going to bring that slightly further out and try and place some under 
the fern so the fern's got something to lean on with it being so you know floppy I don't want no more of those Let's just cut these all down. So there's one here. That's it. Oops, I've pulled, pulled that one a bit, so let me just cut that shorter. So I'm going to go underneath where all the fern is what have I done with my clippers? oh they're here oh my goodness and then one here So I suggest if you've got something that is, you know, preserved and it does flop around like this fur, when you're placing in your artificial, you know, foliage, just place something underneath the preserved foliage just so it can sit on it to give it a bit of help and a bit of support. Oops. Let's just see if I've got one. No, I've not got one there, but I'll place one of these under there. So I'm not going to place none of those in the centre. So I want a lot of berries. Now we've got our, I wish it had got the name on guys so I can then pronounce it properly because I'm it's parvavolia or parvavolia, I can't quite remember. I know it's that but I just don't, it's pr the pronunciation. Have you ever had that guys? Now do I, let's see. need one here i'm just placing these in a minute guys just to see where they suit again is it on there a bit there and then I think with these, I'll chop them up and add little bits in and around here as well. So I'm going to place those in around the edge as well for the movement. So let's just stick these in. Well, I say around the edge, just under 
the mountain fern. Or around that area next to it or just under. I'm just turning it around as I go. I should have got my lazy Susan out. I say that every time, don't I? Where's the other one? Here. Right. I may, again, I want to... Now you can cut these into thirds because you've got two at the bottom, two in the centre and a single one. So you can either have three on one stem or and then two or you can have one, two and two. So I'm going to do it one, two and two. Just get that. And around where the bow is, if you see on this side, well, I want to add some foliage in. I don't want it to be just the sprues. I want to give it the odd bit of foliage. I don't want a lot of this. Sorry if I'm standing up. I just need to see above it. One under here. And this little piece. Just cut another one because I can see a little bit of a gap here. Just spread them if you like. And then because I've got this one left, I may just place this bit again under our bow. So then we have our, I may, here's the see because I think they will be okay. Now I want to add in our berries. Let's just get a few out to start with. I want some on the outside, some on the top. So I'm going to cut a few of each I've got those other little ones. I think I may place the cluster ones there or I may add those little clusters with the baubles. So. Then 
let's just start placing some around the bottom. And I'm going at least every five inches five six inches apart or well, there thereabouts So you can just see them popping through. I'll place that one there. Now oh, I want, yeah, that one there. Just place it under like so, and then one under our bow as well. I'm going to place one here to get one foot under the bow. So if we just go right under here, so you can see it through there. So I've placed them around the outer side. So now I'm going to place in quite a few. I'm going to use some of those with the buds on as well so I'm going to place some on the inner side so what I'm going to do with these and I'm just going to place whoops I've not got much glue on there Oh, that's got, I'll glue that berry back just a little bit. Oh. Let me just get, guys, a little a pick because the bit of the berry is hanging. I'm going to glue that back together. There we have it. So we've got those ones and then I'm going to use some of these again. I want quite a few berries. Whoops a daisy, oh my gosh. I want to place in a berry here as well. Don't want that to just look like it's all by itself. Let me just put a bit of a movement in it. And I may place one under here because <clears throat> I think it needs a longer one down here as well. Oh, that's not in very well. Let's just have a look. That's better, I felt that. I'm 
and bring some on the inner side. <clears throat> Don't want to forget the inside. Oh, I've got another one of those clusters and another one of these. So let's place this one here. So as you can see I'm using quite a few berries so I did want this just to be red and let's see yeah we're going to place that one there so I'm just going to stand up so I can see above it so I can see where I need more more berries I'm going to place some where the poinsettias are We want some here again. Got one around here. Let's just have a look down here, I think around here. Just under, so you can see that one there. And I may bring one up there. And I'll place that. Like so. Let me just see. I may need one there. Oh, I've got another one of those. So we could maybe do we want around here at the bottom. Or do we need one? I'm going to give that fern a little extra support again. Like I say, we're going to have quite a few berries in here. That was my idea. not in well. Just do that one a little bit there. Let's have a look up here. don't want any in there. Now I think that will be all right for now. If I see any when we've finished that it needs it. I'm considering one there though. Let's get one there. If I need any more when we've finished I will add more to it. So, as you can see now, we have lots and lots of berries added in and just three little poinsettias. I didn't want big. Let's place this over here where it belongs. Like so. 
and that is what we've got if i want to add more poinsettias i will add a couple more but at the moment hi hun hello at the moment we'll leave with all the berries now and if i will get onto the board the christmas ornaments and again if i feel a bit more foliage can be added then we will now and it's just going to have ornaments around around at the bottom here so bottom middle top so we're going to have all ornaments around there so you can either leave this on where the string was attached or i do have some where i've taken them off you can place picks in them or you can just place them and glue them on like so now i'm sometimes I, I do it i try to do it so they go through like that but then and then you can bend them into place so if i get dip that because i want it to stick because i don't want it to come off and again you can get Let's get some picks. For things like that, get a pick, put some glue on the end and go into the oil as far as you wish. We only need these shorts. I'm going right to the top. Wipe off the glue and then there you have your Christmas ornament or bauble on a pick. So I'm going to see, I don't think, I, I'm more, I like them better to be on pigs because I feel they're more secure. It's just me. So I'm going to take these off and place them on pigs. Let's just get rid of the mess here. Oops, my goodness. It's just something to my preference that I like. If you just like to glue them in, you know, that's fine. You know, everybody has their own way of doing things. Let's take some of these off. Again, I don't know how many I want to use. I want to use two different tones because we've got two different ribbons. I didn't want to use a dark ribbon. I wanted to keep it nice and bright. And don't worry guys, if I feel that I want these back on, I have got lots for, that I saved from last year. So that's the reason I'm throwing these ones away because I have got, it's got to be hundreds what I saved. So let's just start placing our picks and it's leaving them to dry by themselves why I do this So I've got a bit of glue on there. Let's take it off. Let's 
I'm going to put them all on picks, even if I don't use them all. Um, I can put them back in my... I've got a big box full of different coloured Christmas baubles or ornaments. And I can place them in back in the big box. It's not going in. There's nothing stuck. There we go. It doesn't take long. Just to place the again, just push them right to the top. If you don't want them right to the top, just push push them, you know, to w wherever you'd like the pick to go, and then just hold it there. Well, not hold it. Just don't place it down so it can then dry. But because I'm cutting these short, or majority of them anyway. I don't really need long picks. Now let's get a bit more glue on that one. Three more, I think. There we go. So the ones I started off with, they will be dry. This glue doesn't take long to dry, so. I've got it all over my fingers. Right. Let's just move them off to one side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to place, if I can get it so you can see, hopefully. And I'm going to place one at the very bottom. And then once I've done one at the bottom, then I will bring, not directly opposite, but just offset. Let me cut that stem actually. I don't, it's only the bottom where I need them slightly longer. And then we're going to go just slightly offset there. And I'm mixing the two colours up so that you know you've got the different uh, colours or tones. And then with this one, instead of going across, I'm going to bring it here. I will bring it there. So you've got like a little triangle. So we'll do the same with this. That one's a bit loosey-goosey. Let me place that there. And get the glue off. I can't feel... I don't know about you guys, but when I've got glue on me, I can't feel... It doesn't feel right. Right, let's do it again. Now I'm going to go again at the bottom. I'm not having it coming right out. I don't want it to come right out. And I'm going to get 
this one. And I'm going to go offset again. And then I'm going to go here. As you can see, I'm not using the same coloured bauble or Christmas ornament next to each other. Um, I've got the, I don't know, matte, the deep burgundy or deep red gloss, the red gloss, then the red matte, and then the, the deep red matte as well. I don't want to place the same the same ones next to each other. That one's the same as that, but this one's higher up. What I mean by next to each other is directly after each other. I don't want to put that one there. So we've got a gloss one there. So I don't want to gloss one again. So I'm gonna use a different one and I'm gonna use one of these. I don't, I'm not just placing the bigger ones at the bottom. I want different sizes at top and bottom. So we'll place this one here. So we've got a mat there, so I want a gloss. So let's get a big one. I'm going to bring a, <clears throat> excuse me, a red gloss. Again, I'm just going offset. like so and then because we've got the gloss and we've got that there I'm going to bring a deep colour in we've got the matte there this is a gloss so it's then beginning to look like so <clears throat> excuse me so now we've got the matte there Let's see, I may bring in, I've got a small one here. This is the only small red I've got. So I'm going to bring that. And that was there. So then you've got that one there. So that is a matte. So I want a gloss, so I'm going to bring this one, put in the darker red. It is more like a uh, crimson or a burgundy. And it doesn't take long to get the, all the way around. <clears throat> So let's see, we'll bring that one there. You can add as many as you like in, you know, whichever you feel you like to see. Let me just turn it around. I think if I place, <clears throat> The gloss one under there. That one's a bit loosey goosey. Put another thing on it. Oops. Let that just dry. I'll get it off my fingers guys it's stuck behind my nails just get that off
And I'm going to bring this one just in there. Let's see if I need. I think I may need a couple the the other two points that is. I'm gonna with this now bring the odd one in. So let's so they're the deep oh, they do look burgundy, so we'll bring in a red. To sit that there. What about under the boat? Yeah, so we've got the red, 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 burgundy. So we'll have the gloss. And that can go under there as well. So what have we got left? So I could place another one of those in. I'm just turning it around so I can get one. as well so let's just see if we need any more I've got three left I don't want to place gloss next to gloss or matte next to matte but I've only got a two matte and one gloss so I could let's have a look. No, I'm gonna leave it. Some of these just say no. Placing more in is more of them is just gonna you know if I had a different one put those in there something different than I would place it in so what we've done on that side is place all of those in there again I've got these left or I may chop some more just to add in a bit of these in or if not those where's those poinsettias some reason it's telling me to place that there and that there but will that be too much let me just look round guys I don't want it to look too yeah it's too much you can't actually see what they are if I place in them I just need some greenery in there some foliage so I may what do I add let's just have a look with these see they do look nice but because they're big you can't see them or do I chop the odd white and bring the odd white? I think I'll chop the odd white. And I'll chop these down and then just stick these in. If I can. So what I'm going to do, I've just chopped them down. They've not really got they've not got really a stem on as you can see. So I'm just going to glue those to the spruce. 
just to give that little bit of extra Christmassy going because you you've got them here you put nothing there in the snowy effect so by just placing some of these you know dotting them around just having the tips of them popping up will add that little bit to it again bring some down lower down as well because you want to see them lower let's have one on the inner side there They don't all, all have to be the same size as long as you've just got that little bit of you know a little bit of foliage with a bit of white in it where it's carrying it around I'm not going to put any more in after these because that's plenty One more. Let's just bring one up, I think, around here. I may have to actually bring some inwards there. So let's just. the odd one off bring it in behind the bow So if you like as well, you can also add just little pieces into your bow so it carries it on, you know, so you've got it here as well. They're not very big, I don't want them, you know, really big. I just want them in there, just sticking on to the ribbon itself. And I'm going to put a piece on all the sparkly bits, the sparkly ribbon, should I say. can't see that one, let's get a bigger one. Let's glue that one to there. Same with that. I've got one more. What can I do with this one? Let's just stick it to one of those there.
so that is our project done for today again I don't want let me just get the bow correct I didn't want really any other floral apart from the three poinsettias and that was that I'm not going to do anything fancy with the tail ends I want those to stay also as they are just hanging down so if I turn it around let me just get some string because I'm gonna need string to hang it up in at my house So I'm just going to loop it like that. The two loose bits at the end will go through the loop once I get it through. So I'm going right to the where the frame is. I'm going through the frame, not through the foliage. I hope that's in the right place. I think it's a bit too far along. I need to go on the next piece of the frame. I can't see guys. Not much spruce in the way. I put. I want to put it on so I can hang it up and show it you. Let me move that spruce there. Still haven't got it through. <laughs> oh, it's there. Let me just grab, grab it. My fingers can't reach it. There. I should have put that on to start with. So, we have got, as you can see, our, our lovely bow, just with two, you know, the colours red and then just with a tiny little bit of green. Um, on, well, I'll, I'll put it up, guys. I'll, I'll put it on the easel. So I'll just keep lifting so you get a better a better look of it. And then I'll bring the camera down or up, whichever it may be. Right. Let's just get the back of it. bring it up a little bit higher so, let's just get rid of the snow so it doesn't go everywhere while we Turning it or moving. So let me just let me get that out way because that's touching that. I don't want so that's. Let me just get the, the 
camera on it guys oh gosh you are a bit low right i'm gonna pro probably put you on the one above let's just hope it doesn't oh my gosh it's so can you see there's the tail end i'll show you the tail end to start with and the ribbon there it is how it looks um let me just move this table this darn table a display table i've got guys it always gets in the way i'll place it like so oops I think that's okay. My drink. Right. So, as you can see, <laughs> we've used the preserved uh, fern, which is again. Um, dead they do last up to five years um so they are very good they've been sprayed but they are very floppy so if you can support it in any way then that would be fabulous because you don't want that's one thing you don't want to see guys is a floppy wreath what looks like it's well even though it's artificial on its last legs so As you can see, there's our bow with the little green loops on the uh, on the fringe on the ends. So I've uh, done the loops in the red glitter at five and a half inch and these in five inch. And the one in the centre, four inch. I've added a bit of the, fur, oh, the cypress leaves with the snow on. So as you can see on this side, we've got our snowy cypress leaves. We've got our conifer, lots of berries, our beautiful mountain pine, a little bit of lamb's ear, some eucalyptus, silver dollar, some pov, pov, <laughs> pov favoli, or pov favoli, or pov favoli, I can't, oh, I can't remember, but that, <laughs> some of that, which is a bit dusty, which is nice, some of our sage leaves also where I place them behind the fern to hold the fern. That one's just slightly come back. So let's move that one forward a bit. And place it there. And then anything else, guys? We've got our three different types of um poinsettias not big i didn't want them big i really wanted the bow to be the uh, focal point and on this side we've hardly used any foliage just some of the uh, that one's wilting a bit some of the parvavolia um i'm gonna just support that for now i'll sort that one out um some of our cypress leaves and um, just near the tip where we started around the the odd berry uh, um, and then here you've got the odd bit of your silver dollar eucalyptus underneath our bow and we started with our christmas ornaments on this side instead of doing the mirror imaging we started with christmas ornaments with different tones of reds that's but this is more like a burgundy but it's still in the family of the you know the color where, where the reds are so we've got the matte we've got gloss and we've also got um i don't know well, yeah matte and gloss on both of them but uh, they, they all again i've tried not to place them all next to each other say like two of these or two of them next to each other We've got the same colour, 
but we've got different, uh, you know, texture. That one is gloss, that's matte. And that's what I've tried to do. And I've not necessarily placed the bigger ones on the side because I didn't want it to look like a half of a wheel. So I placed different sizes on just to, you know, balance it out. So that's, and you can still see the spruce as well. If you feel that you want to place in more foliage there, um, place it in before you put these in. Because otherwise, if you do it like I did, you know, and thought, oh, well, I could put some more foliage in and then realise I can't see these, then it would have been waste of time placing them in. So I, I you know, and many of you will know, you know, just chop little bits off like that and place those in because it's these you want to see. Or, you know, if you don't want any foliage in there, you just want to see the spruce instead, you know, just keep the spruce there instead and just don't add anything else it's your decision guys you know everybody's got their own opinion on how things should look or how or not things should look that's wrong excuse me how they would like things to look that's what i mean so and again i'm doing this for my front door so um if it's got cat allergies it's got cat, you know if it's got cat on it well, my my cat's chewed it that's fine because it's my mine so uh, i hope you enjoyed that guys you know i quite like that doing half and half and then by separating it with the bow and the poinsettias again you don't have to do it in this color let me stand this side you don't have to do it in the reds if again you you, you know christmas is all some people like traditional I'm for anything really. I mean, I've even bought something. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, you're going to love it, guys. And I even asked the gentleman in the shop, but I'll tell you about that in a second. But you can, you know, do it in any colour. My sister last year had a, a pink Christmas wreath off me. Um, my other sister, she's had the black and gold one. So it's not always, you know, people don't always go for the traditional. My friend Julie um, Whitting, she had um, a blue one, ice blue one. So each to their own, guys. Some people like traditional, some people like to go a different colour. You know, everybody's got their own style or colour choice. I was going to think about putting some cones in or lotus heads, but then I thought to myself, no. As much as I love the lotus heads, I am going to stick with just green and red with the snowy bit uh, on it. And it will get even snowier once it's on my door if we get snow in the UK for Christmas. And the snow will just land on these and blend in. Fabulous. So if you enjoyed that, guys, and you think to yourself, I can do that. I'm sure you can. And I know you all can. Give it a go. You know, don't doubt yourselves, guys. Give it a go because you'll never know if you don't give it a go. Oh, I'm a poet. So, and use different textures of your uh, pine needles. These ones or smaller ones, conifers, cypress leaves, all that sort of thing. You know, what you'd have around you know, usually around Christmas for your foliage and incorporate it all together and, you know, mix and match and I'm sure it will look lovely. Here's my cat, guys. Come on. Come on. Come and say hello to the world. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, don't start sneezing. So, see, he can rub his body up my, up my uh, reef. I don't mind. So anyway, guys, have a, uh, again, please subscribe, share and like uh, to the world, to everybody, you know, who you know, and give it a go yourselves in whatever colour you wish. No matter what, it will be beautiful. What's wrong? What's wrong? So let me just move this to the side. Oops, a daisy careful and I've got something that 
<laughs> I went into town and I saw this shop. I haven't been into town for a while, but I saw this shop and it was called the Gonk Shop. Oh, they shouldn't have shops like that in Mansfield. I mean, they had different sizes, different styles, um, different colours. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look! <laughs> Look at him with his hand in his pocket like, really? <laughs> You can't even see, I can't even see his eyes. Isn't he divine with his velvet boots? He is heavy. He is heavy. His hat has got in it so you can <laughs> manipulate it, do what you want with it. Um, oh, it is beautiful and soft, excellent quality, and he's really well padded. Now, I was going to place him in a wreath. The gentleman that I brought him off, I told, he says, you like, do you like your gonks? I says, oh yeah, yeah. I, I uh, do them for, you know, I explained that I did tutorials and YouTube and everything. And he asked me to do one and bring it into his shop and he will place it in his shop window. Um, I was gonna do it with this one, guys, but God, this is, this is absolutely beautiful. If you can see, look, it's like knitted, Somebody's knitted it, knitted the jumper. Uh, look at it. <laughs> his, little, <laughs> his little button nose <laughs> and his lovely velvet sequined uh, hat and his little, little hand in his pocket. <laughs> and he in his little tweed trousers and velvet great boots. He is a Adorable. Oh, I'm trying to think of a name, but it's got to be a masculine name. But I'm trying to think of one. But I don't want to do the. It's going to be weird, isn't it? Putting him on a reef and going, taking him back to the shop where I bought him from. That's the reason I don't want to put him on a reef. Uh, because I bought him from that shop. It's like, now if he wanted me to do one for his shop, he should just say, if I give you this, will you attach it to a wreath so I can have it in my shop? I would have been fine with that. But I don't want to buy something from his shop and then take it back and never see it again. You know, it just doesn't seem right. Is his hand... <laughs> Does his other one come out? Oh yeah, his other one comes out! <laughs> Is that Bendy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! He's got, <laughs> he's got, he's got wire in his arm, in his arms. Oh, he's like, hi! <laughs> Isn't he lovely? I didn't know that. That was the first. So I wonder if he could put his hands in both pockets then. Let's just have a quick look. Oh yeah, he looks fed up now. <laughs> looks like he's waiting for a bus <laughs> on a cold day. <laughs> Bless him. But it wasn't cheap. Um, it was in English money, seventeen pound ninety nine. So um, they've got smaller ones, guys. But if he doesn't go back, well, he's not going back to the shop. Then he's going in my bedroom for Christmas because my bedroom's pink, pink and grey. So I think it's lovely. So that is what I've got. But he's asked me to do something if I feel I'd like to, to take, you know, and then take it to the shop and he will hang it in his shop window. So, oh, and my niece and nephew who have also got their own shop in the same town, in the same we call it Four Seasons, it's like a shopping mall um, in there as well. Um, they sell bath bombs, you know, things like that, all perfume bath, you know, uh, things. So they're doing really well and um, I take my hat off to them. And I'm, um, I've asked to have an attachment with a roll top bath with bubbles coming out. And a lovely lady who did my gingerbread man, um, she's going to be doing it for me. 
so I can put do that and they can put that in their shop as well so again I hope you enjoyed today's lesson um, I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day good health guys god bless and I'll see you tomorrow and don't forget to uh, press that subscribe button bye for now love you all bye What's up, Molly? Yes. Right. Maybe you, maybe you tushy. So there's the bow, guys. Oh, here he comes. Um, uh, Molly, you put the wire around your bum. There's the bow with the glitter, and then the red one with the green little loops fringe on the fringing on the edge. Um, there's your conifer. Your lovely mountain pine, your snowy cypress leaves with your berries, your lamb's ear, there's your mountain pine again, your three different poinsettias, there's that one with the glitter and the holly, just the plain one, and then you've got this one here. Then you've got your different baubles or Christmas ornaments going around the edge and down the side. You've got your parvolia and then you've got your preserved fern as well and also your sage so i hope you enjoyed that guys uh, and again give it a go do half and half of whatever it may be guys i'm sure it will look beautiful so all the best have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now